Uh, first question is, how did you know? Um, wait, I, I was gonna ask the first. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You about to get married? Yeah. Congrats. I appreciate <laughs> I didn't that. that. I didn't do that. This is okay. You know, congratulations on that, man. Um, I done, I done forgot it already. I done forgot it, man. Let me just keep this out. Yeah. Like, what made you know you were okay? Okay. Okay. How you doing? All right, all right, Blake. Thank you for being on. Absolutely, I appreciate first the opportunity. Episode or version of this, and I have no name for it, but it's just talking to people. Just getting life stories. Just, just you know, yeah. Just, just wanted some more godly content out there. Just talking oh, to absolutely. people about God and their life and relationship with God. So to start us off, uh, first of all, you're about to get married. Congrats I am. Congrats about that. I am. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, what made you know that you're ready for marriage? I knew before I met my current partner. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm more mature for my age, I would say. Okay. Um, now, <laughs> maybe not in high school, but yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely now. not then. Definitely, yeah, definitely not. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I've matured but a lot anyways, since I got out of high school. Anyways. You know, um, and I, I kind of have a different perspective on the world. And I think the younger, in my mind, the younger I have kids and start a family, mm -hmm. um, the more I'm able to do for them. You know, and maybe not financially, but that's not what it's about. Mm -hmm. um, so having an opportunity to have kids young. Is something that you know I wanted obviously I had to find somebody who uh, who had my same values right. so you know I'm, I met Alyssa and we have the exact same values and you know we want to raise our kids in a, in a Christian household um, with God at the center of our relationship and the center of their relationship so um, when it all comes together you just you know I, I just knew I just knew I knew it was a perfect time and you know her birthday was coming up and I was gonna do it on Christmas, yeah, but I didn't want to. Tell me about the proposal. Yeah. Yeah. How, how yeah. did I go down? So you I told me a little bit before, and you're like, "Oh, maybe come down." Yeah. And then it just happened, and I was like, "Oh, okay, great." Yeah. yeah. So I planned to do it on Christmas. Okay. Okay. And uh, I just thought, I'm not gonna overshadow Jesus like that. That's not right. Right. No. Let's let's not do it. Because like, then it's like a day. Like. Yes. People usually. Remember, it needs to be. Oh, it's only oh, exactly. It needs. It needs to be. So. Not a terrible idea. Though. Yeah. Like, so okay. it was like. Probably June, around June, and I was like, I'm gonna, move it, I'm gonna move it to her birthday. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were yeah. like, oh, not doing Christmas. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to June. Let's just go six, go. six months. Go with, okay. No, um, yeah. So, uh, so I just thought, let's move it to her birthday. Her birthday is December fifteenth. So I thought, That's, it's so close. That's good. Let's just let's make her birthday what really special. What a birthday special. present too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I did that, and uh, you know, her best friend came over and she decorated the apartment. And she put streamers from one side to the other, one side to the other, and in the middle was a heart balloon. Did you show me this heart? I didn't. Show, show us. I don't have a video. You don't, you don't got no a photo nope. either? Well, that's good. That's the way to look. No, right? that's what I'm saying. You keep this here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's why I didn't yeah. take a picture. Oh, okay. I, I didn't I didn't <laughs> photograph it or anything. I just wanted that to be between yeah. us two. I can describe the moment, but that's actually good. seeing it is between us. But she walked in, and she was really surprised that it was decorated for her birthday. And um, when she turned around, I was on my knee. Oh, this, this is, did she cry? She, she didn't. She didn't? No. Okay. She thought she would cry and she kind of mentioned that right after. Yeah. She was like, she doesn't remember me proposing now. Really? Yeah. She doesn't remember it. I was so, going to say something good. though, uh, about that, about the not, you know, recording a photo thing. When I yeah. proposed, um, I, I didn't um, do a video. I thought maybe I was going to do a video or something. Maybe I was going to do In the moment, video. you don't think about it. Yeah. No, I, I, I was preparing though. Like, you know, obviously we have a plan. Oh, of course. Like, so yeah. my plan, like, yeah, yeah. my old plan. That's my whole relationship. My whole plan was okay, like, you know, like, I'll go, you know, take her out to dinner, and then, boom, like, somebody, get, somebody get the phone record, and then I'll do it in front of everybody, claps, cheers, ah. Yeah. And then I had another plan, like, okay, like, maybe we're walking out somewhere, and I know today's the day, and I'll just find a random stranger, hey, can you get my phone? And then, boom, they just record it. it. Then I do that, but it's still more intimate. But then the more I was thinking about it, I was like, I just wanted to meet, meet her. So I didn't, I didn't set up the phone or anything. I just proposed, and then after we took photos. But it yeah. was like, yeah. It was more of a, I just want this to be a moment thing. Not where oh, I'm putting on video and I know it's going to do whatever on Instagram. I know it's going to do whatever on YouTube. Like, no, it's just, this is And like, I think that's the, that, that's the, that's the whole point of it for me too, is, is not to try to make it about getting attention and having other people lay eyes on it and, and make it a moment where everybody can share. I think it's something that I just want to share with. It should be. Yeah. And I think that's how it should be for everybody. I mean, if you're, if you're out there and you got a, a special lady you're looking to maybe buy some jewelry for or something, I think, I think just keeping it between you two. Um, it just it just makes it more sentimental. How did you yeah, How did you go for the ring? Did you go all out for the ring, or what did you do for it? What do you mean for the ring? Financially? Yeah, like oh, you, you did. I think I talked to you. You you got you spent a lot, right? I spent okay. Oh wait, no, no, you were you were like oh I might spend a lot, and I kept yeah. telling you I was like bro like 
just get like what is, you know, how did I word it? I was like, you, know, you don't have to go all out. Yeah. Just get well, a, okay, so. Just get a whatever a, ring. A and then, did I say get, to get like a whatever type of ring and then get a bigger one later? Did yep. I say that? I forgot what I said. Yep. But I was encouraging and, you, like, you don't have to wait. Because you were like, and which is really sweet. You were like, yo, I want to get like hundreds of dollars amount of ring, whatever, this perfect great ring. And I was like, you don't gotta push it back for that. Like, like she loves you. She's gonna, she's gonna want to marry. You. Get some and you're, sixty you're dollars, fifty right. dollars. And, and I didn't go fifty, gonna, sixty. But okay, okay. But what'd I you mean, do? What'd you do? A little, a little higher. A little higher. Okay, okay, okay. 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 It's higher, especially yeah. Right. But uh, I went low. I went low, but she loved it. I, I like, think I'm not gonna well, say how. Low. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say how high. You know, but um, I went higher for sure. But yeah. I thought to myself, you know, I can wait another year, and I can save up for it. Right. She deserves that. Right. She deserves, but. When I think about how much she deserves, I can't really put a price on it. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people put prices on it. Oh, it's three it's three months salary or it's this or it's that. Yeah, it's yeah, like they do it worth it like if, that. If, yeah, yeah. if you are so shallow that you think that the quality of the ring is what determines m my value, my, my view of her value, yeah, yeah, her then value. then I'm sorry. That's sad. You're, you're a sad individual. Mm -hmm. And I hope that at some point you find God, yeah. honestly. If you really do believe that, oh, she deserve, you know, she does deserve. Mm -hmm anything but she deserves more than a, a thirty thousand yeah. dollar ring she deserves more than a hundred thousand yeah. dollar ring i can't afford all that it's all about the relationship it's about it's about y'all like what it, does she like, want it doesn't even matter like, like she, she wants kids she wants a house yeah. she wants a family yeah. she wants a nice wedding yeah. let's put the money there yeah let's not to put put the money on a rock on her finger like you should wear rings right in this culture mm -hmm. so everybody know okay you're taken Absolutely. she wears a ring let's, let's people know that she's but it doesn't taken. need to be but it doesn't matter fifteen thousand yeah, dollars like that's that's very materialistic if anybody gets so anybody materialistic. crap about a ring price like oh yeah you know it's, it's, and, and honestly just a symbol just a symbol and i'm gonna i'm gonna share you know uh some people in her life had some comments about the ring. You kidding? I'm serious. And she told me about it, and uh, I was like, "Wow, that's so." What sad. matters is y'all. Yeah, that's all that matters. And that—that's kind of what I took. I yeah. just it—it it, it made me it—it it, it, it sucked because I mean, here, here are people that are close to her. They want the best for her. They know I treat her well. Yeah. And they know we have a really good relationship. Yeah. So for them to make comments about the ring and it because it wasn't thousands of dollars, it was hundreds of dollars, mm -hmm. but it wasn't thousands of dollars. Yeah. Um, and people had comments and they had their opinions and they kind of felt that she deserved more. She does deserve more. Yeah. She deserves more more than I can ever give. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, just because we prioritize, uh, you know, building a life together rather than having a ring on her finger that was thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. you know, and that, that's, that's kind of why I have a strong opinion on it. Yeah. I think um, if they're really into it, <laughs> To how expensive the ring is, man. That's just a sad. It is. That's a sad, a sad opinion. Very sad, because like I said, I went cheap, um, and I did that because I just wanted to propose. It wasn't like, well, okay. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know what you wanted. And it wasn't even like a thing, like, because I, I had a lot of money, but it's like, it's not a thing of like, oh, I want to like, got like, I'm not even thinking like, that. I'm not thinking hundreds, I'm not thinking a thousand. I'm thinking, let me get something that looks nice and something that's like, I can get it here quick, I can, I can do it. Um, and her family had a great reaction. They just, they just loved that we that we were getting married. That's that's the reaction it should be. It should never be like, oh, is it is it big, is it nice? Whatever. And it wasn't it her family. Be, okay, I want to no. make sure. I don't want to disparage. It's the people in her life. It wasn't oh, her family. Yeah. Whoever, whoever, Nobody in her family. Whoever had. in her life. Yeah. That's not the way to think about it. That's not the way. It's to think not. Because it. it's just all about you. It's about your union. It's about your union. That's all it is, man. Cause yeah, it's, man. It's it's, a, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's just for status. It's just that's it. And that's sad. It's like, you and know, I think, money. you know, as men sitting here, you know, yeah. I, I think we speak for any man in, in any relationship. I think we're both in really good relationships. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she didn't care. That's good. She, I, I could have given her a piece of twine. Yeah. There's a story, actually. Yeah. And I don't, I don't remember the name of the story, but um, there, this guy was so poor. He gave this, this she, she, she was rich. Her whole family was rich. And she gave her a piece of twine. And she had it until the day she died. And it's a real story. I don't remember what the... You know the context is, but um, okay. that's that's just really nice to me that like she kept that twine until she died, yeah. and uh, and he passed away really young. Mm -hmm. She had, she got remarried, mm -hmm. and he, she still kept the twine. That's good. Man. So that's um, yeah, I think he got in a car accident or something. But it's the value of just knowing that this person wants to spend the rest of their life with you should be where I value her enough mm -hmm. to propose in the first place. Not that I bought a thousand dollar ring. Mm -hmm. Great, you make money. You can make money but be a horrible husband. You can make money and be a horrible person. Most people that make a lot of money are horrible people. Yeah. So you're happy for your friend when she gets a, a $15,000 ring, 
but when she gets a cheaper ring, but is with somebody that genuinely cares for her well-being and wants to build a life with her, you're upset. You got comments. You're fifteen thousand dollars, man. Give me more. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. What made you know that Alyssa was the one? Well, like, what about her made you know? Okay, she's the one. That's her the one. specifically. Yeah. Um, Cause I know you was ready for marriage, but was there something yeah. I was like, oh yeah, it's it's her, it's Alyssa. Like, yeah, she just makes me feel comfortable to be myself around her. Mm -hmm. Like I can be goofy, mm -hmm. um, I can make jokes, I can I can be into whatever I want to be into. Um, I, she's she's okay with me being crazy about sports. I mean, she just doesn't care what I do. She's just so in love with me, just so in love with me, and I'm in love with her, obviously. But mm -hmm. I've never had anybody just have that infatuation with me, and it just. It gives me security. It's pretty cool. That's really good. That's really yeah. good. Um, and then obviously, because she believes in God as well, right? She's she's a good godly woman. I feel like that's a given. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's always a given. Well, I just want to make sure. We just make that clear for the people. You know, that, that, yeah, no that, doubt. You she want does. to look for someone yeah. who believes. She went to a Lutheran church. Okay. When yeah. she was a kid, and she used to walk there all the time, every day. And when she was in her teens, you know, her parents didn't go. Nobody told her to go. I mean, it was right. something she wanted to do, and uh, something she continues to want to do. So. Um, not okay. Lutheran specific. Well, she wants to do Lutheran, but you know that's a conversation for another day with that's me and her. Good, but um, that's, a, that's a good one. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, the first time and this time now with my partner Rachel, like yeah, just good godly woman. That's that was the base. You know, mm -hmm. so that's where you got to start. Uh, and then you know, of course, you got you know you might have a preference or you're looking for this or that. But yeah, I mean, to me, always just, yeah, good godly woman. Oh yeah, that's, that's I mean that's the foundation for. of it. But you yeah. know. Once that's been established, that doesn't mean I fall in love with her and she's my everything just because she's a good, godly woman. Right. Um, you know, I got to see what other aspects and, and you know, yeah. things Did that she... Did you have, like, a checklist? I had a checklist. Did you have a checklist? No. I had... It wasn't a long checklist, but I was looking for a good, godly woman. Um, someone... What was the rest of it? Someone who... I had, like, three things. This is kind of bad. I forgot my three things. <laughs> I had, like, but, you know, she checks it all for me. Oh, girl. Right. Yeah, I think everybody has a mental checklist that maybe isn't yeah. as defined. It wasn't like race or like body or anything. It was like, well, a little bit body. Like I wanted a woman with a good body, but so it was like it was like you know it was like, but characteristics though. It was like yeah, it, was, it was a godly woman and this looks terrible. I forgot, but yeah, <laughs> I, had a few, I had a few things. I had like three things. Look, everybody and has an, all of it. Everybody has an internal. Like yeah. I said, I, just because I didn't write a list out or I didn't think a list out, I had a list in my head. Yeah. I just didn't I didn't write know it out physically it. either. But yeah, it was there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think everybody's got a list just in their head that they don't maybe you know say or even think mm -hmm. about having a list. It's just like when you meet somebody and they're everything that you ever wanted, mm -hmm. they fit everything on your list. You know, so. Yeah.